Hey guys! So I know a lot of you um, have received your Instant Pot over on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I know they were having a huge sale and that's um, one of the times that I got my Instant Pot. And this one that I've upgraded to, it is a Duo. And this one um, has a 9 function. Um, the other two that are added versus the other Instant Pot that I used to have, I believe is the cake and the sterilizing um, options that I have never used before. So I'm going to play around with those two functions and give you guys another video on how to exactly use those two functions. But for now, um, I just wanted to show you guys how to use this particular Instant Pot right here. And I read so many people saying, oh, I'm so scared to take my Instant Pot out of the box. It's still sitting in the garage. I don't know what to do with it. It's really intimidating. And let me just tell you, this is super, super easy to use. Now, the first thing that you need to do, and it's not that you have to do it, but it kind of gives you a, um, a peace of mind that your Instant Pot works correctly is to do a water test. And I'm going to do a water test with you today and kind of show you exactly step by step what to do. And so let's go ahead and open up this box. Okay, so are you guys ready for this? Um, first, we're going to open up the top and I see like a little cooking book and um, a manual um, and a quick reference guide. So there's that. I see the cord. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys can see this. So we have all the functions and all the buttons on the side and this. I see the ladle and the measuring cup inside here. So there's a ladle, there's the rice scooper, is the water collector, and here is your little measuring cup. Okay, I'm going to pull out the trivet that comes with this. And there is the inner pot. Inside, you'll find this orange warning sign. Uh, remove the card before use. So, something for you to read. So it looks like the Duo Plus has the soup and broth, meat and stew, bean and chili, these three are the functions that I had in my other Instant Pot as well. The new one is the cake and the egg and the sterile, right? And of course, if you're completely new to Instant Pot, all of these buttons will not mean anything to you now, but I will let you know exactly what to press and what to expect later. But first, I just wanted to show you what the front looks like. And this is what the top looks like. So you have your, your vents over here, two vents, and turn it. And that's what it is on the inside. I have the pot on the outside. Let me just go ahead and put this inside for you. Now there's also numbers and kind of gives you um, the max, the limit of how much you are able to fill the Instant Pot. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back. Okay, so there is this cord that is going to go in the back. And you're going to plug this in right through there. Okay, um, I'm going to do this later when I actually um, have an electrical outlet near me. So for now, you know where that goes. 
and there's trivet, the ladle, and the spoon. Okay, so this is the water um, catcher. That's just what I call it because it does catch all the water and condensation. So you just want to slide this in. See how there's the two slots right here? I don't know if you can see that. There's one on this side, another one on this side. And you just have to make it make sure that it slides through this right here. So kind of match it up and slide it in. And I'm trying to do this using one hand. So it's a little challenging, but there you go. Okay, I got it. See? And this is something that you should have attached because otherwise there will be water just dripping down on your kitchen counter if you don't have that on. Now, before you start to do anything using your cover, you want to make sure that this ceiling ring this part right here, it does come off. You want to make sure that that is securely placed all the way in around the cover. This is very important. This is the only way that the Instant Pot will correctly pressurize. So make sure that this silicone ring right here is securely on the cover all the way around. Okay, so I just turned on my Instant Pot. All I did was plug in my electrical cord over there. And you're going to see this off sign on your screen. And as you can see, let's say if I wanted to make rice and I push the rice button, it's going to automatically go to 12 minutes because that's how long it's going to take to cook rice. Multigrain. Multigrain rice is going to take longer, 40 minutes. If you would like to make porridge, that's going to take 20 minutes. If you want to steam vegetables, depending on the vegetable, it might take up to 10 minutes. Now, let's say that you don't want to take 10 minutes on your vegetable because you're only steaming broccoli. You can press the minus button and see how the numbers are going down all the way to one or even zero. It's up to you on how much broccoli you're steaming because these steam super fast, you are able to adjust the time again by pressing either the minus or the plus. Now same goes with all these other buttons. These are just pre-programmed buttons that you are, you can have easy access by just pressing all these buttons and they'll just automatically give you the time. Now let's say you want to saute your vegetables before cooking them with rest of your ingredients in the Instant Pot. Well just press the saute mode right there and this 30 minutes is usually how long it will stay on in the saute mode. Once this turns on this will heat up the pot and you will eventually see some smoke rising and that's when you know that the pot is hot enough for you to add your onions or other vegetables to cook. Since we are not doing that right now, I'm going to turn it off. And let's say you just want to cook a dish and you just want to make up your own time. That's not part of these options. Just press the pressure cook button and you can either add time or subtract time, easy as that. And let's say I wanted to cook something for only 17 minutes. Well, just leave it on 17 minutes and automatically the Instant Pot will turn on and it will start cooking. So before it starts to cook, the Instant Pot needs to pressurize. And this may take anywhere from a couple of minutes to even like 10 to 15 minutes. It all depends on what you have inside and how much liquid you have inside. So I'm going to press the cancel button for now. If you happen to still have this tag on, go ahead and take it off. What I'm going to do is take this knob out 
and I'm going to take this out and this is just a warning now I'm just going to put this back and just pops right in like that okay now I'm just going to have it in the venting position for now I'm going to show you what to do with that later I'm going to take out the cover you're going to get two cups of water I don't know if you see this. There's two cups in there. I'm just gonna pour this into the pot. And then, put the lid back on. When you open the cover towards the right side, and there's also a little picture on the bottom as well. And you have open up the cover. Now to close the cover, you just want to match the arrow and just turn it to the lock position right there. And you're also going to hear the sound. Do you hear that? By hearing that sound, you know that you're, you are doing it right by closing and opening the lid. Next, this is on the venting uh, position. You always want to place this right here where it says sealing. You want to seal that so that the steam doesn't escape. Since we are only doing a water test, I'm going to go ahead and press steam. And I'm going to count down to do a five minute water test. Five minutes should be more than enough for this to create steam and boil my water. And we're going to wait for this to pressurize and for it to count down to the five minute um, steaming time. And we will be right back. Cancel. Cancel is considered an off button, but if you want to turn on the instant pot, there is no such thing as on. And that's one thing that confuses beginner instant pot users. There is no on button because as soon as you press either one of these preset buttons or your own pressure cook uh, time by using this plus and minus, it's going to turn on automatically right after you set the timer. Once it reaches the zeros on the timer, this means that your Instant Pot has stopped cooking. And this is just counting down on um, the warming setting over here. So the lid is quite not ready um, to open you might want to wait maybe a couple of minutes because once I try to turn this to the venting side see how there's steam coming out now when you want to do this thing called a quick release you're going to turn this all the way to where is this venting And that's when all the steam is going to come out. Natural pressure release is just by letting it stay in position and not turning to the venting, this side over here. So natural pressure release, just keep it over here and let the pressure um, on its own come out. Since this is just a water test, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick release. Also, when you see the pin, it just dropped right now, but I couldn't quite catch it. Uh, when you see that pin, it used to be up, but now it just went down. That means that the lid is safe to open. Okay. 
and there you have it the water has boiled and this instant pot is already right here you can push this down and it's also a holder for your cover see that pretty convenient huh we're going to turn this off now and press cancel and is this off if you would like to set your instant pot to the warm setting because you won't be eating um, whatever you have cooked right at the moment you can press the keep warm function here and the instant pot will keep your food safe and warm for 10 hours I hope you guys found this video to be very useful and that it has brought you to take up the courage to finally open up your Instant Pot box and do the water test. And also make sure you watch my other recipes on my YouTube channel. Um, and maybe if you watch like three or four different uh, recipe videos, it might help you to feel more comfortable and get the idea of how much liquid to put in there. And it's basically the same thing as stove top cooking. But it's about all about the ratio of how much liquid to add into your instant pot for it to pressurize. And I really hope that you guys come back and watch my other recipe videos and continue to support my YouTube channel. And this is the new instant pot that my friend uh, graciously bought for me once she found out that my previous instant pot broke and didn't work anymore and there was just absolutely no way to salvage that and I will be telling you exactly what happened to my previous instant pot so make sure that you click on the next video and watch um, what happened and, and leave your comment below because I would love to hear from other people finally get the courage to open up your instant pot box thanks for watching you guys and I will see you in the next video bye guys